All right, everyone, so we're back with another mod review. This one we have done before, but when we did it, it was very, 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 very early release. So it was like ASA just hit the store, and I mean, we were maybe a couple weeks in to, to mods at this point. I think at this point, there was like 25 pages of mods in, in the mod store, literally. So it was early, um, and the developers were nice enough to leave a comment on the video uh, way back when. So really do appreciate you guys uh, for doing that, um, and they let me know all the stuff that they were working on. Uh, changing and bringing and stuff. So at first this mod didn't do a whole lot other than store your dinos. Now this is Dino Depot. It is cross console so you can play it on PC, you can play it on your PS5 or your Xbox One there for console. Um, so without further ado we're gonna go ahead and get into it. Like my hat's my hat definitely goes off to the developers on this. They have done a phenomenal job. Um, they have pretty much added everything that you could possibly want in a dino storage. Now, anyone who knows me knows that I am very big on the dino storages um, and kind of what they do. So I like the fact that I can have pocket dinos. I like the fact that I can have a terminal that passively generates and does all the tedious, annoying stuff that I don't like to have to spend all my time doing. So, with that being said... Um, the terminal, so first things first, because I really screwed this up while I was practicing here, and I was fiddling around and setting everything up, there is a depot terminal, this is the terminal that you will keep your dino balls in, that will passively generate your poop, and your stuff like your Akatina paste, and your polymers, and your oils, and your rare flowers, and your wool, and you've got it, we'll look at it in the terminal, you'll see exactly, but dinos will passively generate stuff within this um, it does a lot more than that but that is the gist of it and we'll we'll look at it so just crystal and a metal ingots actually to craft this so unlike a lot of the other ones and unlike the one that I have put as number one on my list is uh, dino storage but again I hadn't jumped back into this so this has really won me over I think that <laughs> This, they've done a great job, but unlike all the other ones, very simple to make. You're not going to need a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, you can get this set up and going uh, pretty much day one, early game. You got it. Um, the other thing here is the dino balls. So you can see you can make a stack of dino balls or you can make the regular dino balls. These are just crystal um, that you can craft to make it. Uh, you can also just have crystal in your inventory and it will also still capture a dino even if you don't have any of these balls actually crafted yet. Um, the other thing here you can see is the dino digitizer. So like the other ones that I've shown you guys, it's like a gun. Uh, I do have them down here in my hot bar. There is two, I do believe, and anybody who watches this who uses this can correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe they just look different. It's just two different looks to what they are and they do the exact same thing one is not different and they take the same thing to craft so again this is another tool that requires pretty much next to nothing for you to get started so one metal ingot last but not least is the dino ball storage so this is what really screwed me up so um, I'm not saying anybody else there is out there is as silly as me at times but I had set this up and I had all the dino balls in it and I'm like it's not passively generating anything why isn't this working this is not the thing that you want to be using to passively generate this is just something that stores the dino balls uh, and again it's just some crystal and metal so personally I love the the idea of just using a crystal and metal to craft any of these items I like the fact that you can get into this really early um, unlike the other one uh, that I use. I think this can be crafted. Let's actually just check really quick. What? Yeah, right at level one versus the one that I am talking about. Not not to bring it up in this one because this is about the Dino Depot, but the um, the Super Cryo Storage. So you can kind of see the difference right there, right off the bat. This can be done day one. This you're obviously going to have to wait to level 51. So I love that Dino De Depot has actually made this available right, right from the rip and not at an expensive cost to do it. Um, okay, so what I guess we will talk about first really quick here. You do, oops. You do want to have either the gun or one of the dino balls in your hand. Um, now, this does have 
Uh, it's you can configure this pretty much as much as you want. Uh, it does say on the Curse Forge page that there is over 180 configurable options. Um, definitely, I would suggest checking out the Curse Forge page there. They have a lot of great information, as well as a Google Doc for anybody who uses any files who likes to set things that way. Um, that's all in there, as well as a breakdown of some some different stuff about collisions and and stuff that I mean I would just butcher it I'm I don't know all of that stuff that's way above above my computer language here um, but you do need to have this gun or like I said the dino ball in your hand in order to do this uh, I am on PC so I would hold R in order to bring up this lovely little wheel in order to go into the configurable options, um, especially for people who are on single player uh, or the people that are on console, um, this is where you're going to go to set it all up. So you go to that quick swap uh, dino ball there, and you can see mod configurations are right here. Lots and lots of information here, lots of different things that you can um, do. Now, really quick really fast like I said you can passively generate everything in there you can actually distribute fertilizer to your crop plots like all the like some of the other ones um, that I have shown um, you can uh, have it incubating your eggs it's going to um, collect any live babies that are born uh, it can actually raise up your dinos right in here give it full imprint um, you name it it pretty much takes away all of the work that requires you to have to be base ridden and not out there having fun um, so you can see in here in under the general tab this is uh, the information or the the configurations that you change within here so babies aging so you can turn it off or on off or on which is great for anybody who may not want to have that option anybody who thinks any of these options are super cheaty uh, you can obviously turn them off and have your server or your single player or whatever set up the way that you want it to um, they will gain experience in the dino balls as well. So if you're carrying them around in your pocket while you're out there fighting um, animals or dino animals, dinosaurs uh, and whatnot, they will be gaining experience. But again, uh, if you don't like that option, it's something that can be turned off. Um, we won't go over everything in here, but their health and stuff will regenerate within there. You can change uh, how fast uh, it does that or whether or not it does that. There you go. Um, as well as the inventory. So when you collect a dino uh, into one of these dino balls and it has obviously stuff in its inventory, which if anybody's like me, that would be always the case. What it will do is it will transfer its inventory into your inventory, which is great. Uh, you can also change it so you can have it just dropped as a cache if you don't want it to do that as well I like the option here where it says to transfer respect weight so it's not going to uh, take everything if it's going to make you encumbered or you can have it to ignore the weight if that's something that you want uh, personally I like the respect the weight option because I don't know if anybody has been in one of those heated battles and things are not going the way you want and maybe you just suck up your dino really quick to get them up out of there and you don't want to end up encumbered in one of those situations for sure. Um, the other thing, so notify dino name on the dino ball equip. I'm going to show you guys in my hand what that looks like. I think they did a phenomenal job on, I guess, the skin or the way that it looks. Uh, apologies, I don't know the correct wording, but yes, I guess the skin, the way the cryo ball looks with the dino inside, they did it. They did a fantastic job with that. Um, imprinting and mating, so all of the different options here that you can change. Uh, any admin recovery as well, because I uh, does say that you can admin recover, so if you are the admin of the server, any creature captured by a player will have its data stored in a backup that can be restored at any time. Uh, so if you are an admin and something super badly goes, or super, if something goes wrong, uh, and somebody loses something, you have the power to obviously, um, it sounds like, get that back. Uh, so next up, capture and release. So capture, release, pretty simple. Um, you can see vehicle capture, mission dino capture, the lip of Pluridon capture, uh, allow unclaimed dino capture. 
so if there is an unclaimed dino you'll be able to you know capture it in into the dino ball itself um allow release in cave is another important one so if you want to be able to release dinos at a cryo balls in caves you're going to want to make sure this is enabled i definitely highly suggest going through all of these options and seeing which ones work for you which ones don't check on check off do do what you need to have the best experience um, next up will be the structures uh, so the structures, so here you can actually set it. So this is what prompted me to figure out I was doing everything wrong. And a storage box obviously is not going to generate what I wanted it to. Um, but you can basically have it have the vault-like uh, physics, meaning it's got the 500 um, slot count. Uh, that's what the structure health of the, the boxes would be um, and the decay rate. Uh, same with the depot terminal. So here is also where you can choose if it will require power in order to be used. By default, I do believe that was checked off. I took it off. Um, I like that you have the option, so either power or no power. I'm used to using these types of mods to not have the power, so I just disabled it. But that's just my, my personal choice. Uh, whether or not it can be damaged, this was also enabled. I took it off. I don't want that to be damaged and end up losing any of the dinos that I would have in there personally. Um, and again, you can change how many slots and whatnot uh, it can actually have and and the structure health and so on and so forth. Uh, passive production. I have a lot of this turned up like really high because I was getting this set up and I wanted it to be doing something uh, for when this video got started. Uh, so I have these changed, but you can see you can change. Uh, this is the amount of seconds for passive production intervals. So every 10 seconds. A dino in there will passively generate something basically uh, and again you can turn some of these options specifically to require power in order to use um, spoiler timers they're all in there as well um, over here uh, in the middle is your new newborn uh, auto capture sorry I'm starting to stumble over my words uh, but this was like I said so if you have any dinos who give birth to live young um, and not in eggs this will scoop them up into a dino ball and raise them up in the terminal automatically so you don't have to be here for the births of your dinos which is great um here's the fertilizer distribution that i spoke about so this is how it will distribute the fertilizer to its nearby crops uh here is the range uh, how often it does it whether or not it's going to require power and whether or not it's going to do it so pretty straightforward as far as the settings go uh, fertilized egg pickup so if your dinos lay eggs out here uh, this will automatically scoop them up uh, unfertilized egg production will be f uh, passively generated within your terminal this is why I love to have these personally that's one of the main reasons yes obviously to raise up my dinos and have me not have to cuddle them and tend to them and feed them and all of that nonsense it's gonna do it all for me but also that this is great for people who use kibble um, and and make kibble farms which I am a person who creates a kibble farm when I start an arc uh, series and this is important to me because obviously I don't want to be standing around my base picking up eggs all day uh, this is going to obviously just generate them all in there you can see you, can, you got your Hesperanas on whether or not they can produce gold eggs here's your incubation so this will incubate the fertilized eggs like I said and here's the timers power whether it requires power and whether you not you want it so on and so forth you guys are getting getting the idea here now the weapons one is solely for these guns that you saw down there in my hot bar that it sucks the dinos up into the ball for us um so fire when you're underwater fire while you're on a dino uh, fire while you're running uh these are i don't know why i would not want to be able to fire it while i was running <laughs> that's one of the main times that i end up firing one of these from far far away to try to get my dino out of there um but you can kind of see auto swap on capture so or on release i should say so basically as you keep throwing these dinos out it's going to put another dino in your hand in the cryo ball if you have a bunch in your inventory for example 
Um, and this one's, there's not a whole lot to this section. You guys can obviously, like I said, I definitely suggest you go through this thoroughly and choose how you want to set it up. Now, here is the terminal. So I do have a generator going. It is turned on at the moment. Uh, oh, you can see within my terminal right here was um or is some dinos who are passively generating we've got some eggs going we've got our acatina paste and we've got our feces uh so it is working the way that it is intended what i was trying to do was get this little radial window thingy majigger up here uh so you could take a look at the terminal settings so what you saw me do first is basically how you would set up your server or how you want the server to be able to use use it uh, and then within the terminals each player would have the option to turn on or off uh, some of these things that you have uh, available so you don't have to have the passive production you don't have to use the unfertilized egg production you don't have to use auto capture um, the tribute structure I did want to talk about though because I thought that was uh, our nice added touch which is something that is not or at least I have not seen in the other ones uh, so this is definitely another thing in my opinion that sets them apart um, it's the tribute structure so I had that enabled or I ended up checking it off to kind of see what that actually meant uh, and as you can actually see here in my terminal if we go in you can upload your survivor so you can transfer right from this terminal to another server uh, if you wanted to so anybody who may play on a clustered map um, maybe you're playing on the island and scorched earth cluster together um, you, I believe, should be able to upload your survivor and whatnot right here. I don't want to press that button just in case I, I do something wrong. The other thing, too, within those settings that I said that we would look at, here is everything that the terminal will passively generate. Uh, that's the other reason. Another, another pointer that I really like to have this is the giant bee honey. So you can tame yourself a bee, put it in here. It's going to generate the honey. You don't have to worry about keeping it stocked full of um, rare flowers in order for the bees to enable or to, to get the, to, to make Make the honey and you also don't have to worry about being stung when you go into your beehive to get the honey because it's not a beehive you just got your bee in here doing its thing um, so yeah that's honestly I think everything that everyone should know here is the dino storages um, so really quick I did set them up what I thought was cool I have some in my inventory so I will go ahead and show you real quick here um, they had three different variants so you can R uh, I'm on PC so it's R but I did lay out all three different versions here on the bottom row uh, of the ones that you can uh, or what they look like and these are just a store your dinos they, they don't do anything more just to store your, your dino balls specifically um, and the other thing I wanted to show you guys really quick like I said which I thought they did a fantastic job you can see the cryopod in my hand it shows that it is a griffin level 271 and you can see the picture of the griffin um, actually right like a hologram of the griffin uh, in the ball itself so really great job to the developers on this I think you guys did a really great job you definitely uh, have come a long way since I did this uh, when it first first hit the hit the mod store and personally somebody did ask me the other day uh, between this and the one that I currently use which one is my favorite and again I gave my suggestion based on what I'm from familiar with and what I currently use uh, but Dino Depot you guys have really outdone yourself um, this could very well be uh, a game changer for me uh, personally I won't say anything more or anything less but who knows uh, I think this does everything and uh, more as well as has a few things in it that kind of sets it apart to be a little bit different than the other ones that are out there in the mod store so as usual I really do appreciate everybody who watches who subscribes who likes the videos uh, I really appreciate all of you guys support um, and anybody who's interested I will definitely leave a link to the discord in the description of the video we do have some ARC servers. Um, we are trying to get some membership 
things going as well for anybody who did buy a membership. We are also still working on uh, getting up the Anunnaki server because that seemed to have won the votes on which video playthrough Dino Overhaul series that we will use um, and, and play. Um, so definitely stay tuned for that. And like I said, appreciate each and every one of you, and I will see you all in the next one.